Welcome to another trip down the Bourbon Road with your hosts, Jim and Mike. So grab a glass of your favorite bourbon and kick back. Hello everybody, I'm Jim Shannon. I'm Mike Hyatt. This is the Bourbon Road and today Mike is another craft distillery episode, but I have to say for the last few craft distillery episodes, well, I would say in the last five or six craft distillery episodes we've done, we've snuck in a few big boys. We have, we have. And I, once again, I had to bring another big boy with me. Yes. I work down here in, as I call it, Big Jim Shannon's Bar and Lounge. <laughs> <laughs> you got it all lit up now, your, your bar lights and stuff. Yeah, Bourbon Road Studio 1A. <laughs> Yeah, it's looking good. But I did bring a big boy with me, and there's a reason for that, and we'll get into that. Yeah. But just released hot off the press on Saturday to the public was Maker's Mark Wood Finishing Series 2021 Limited Release FAE TAC 02. 02. And it's a weeder. Well, yeah. Of course it's Mark. Yeah. So this is 109.1 proof. It is. Finished with ten virgin toasted French oak staves. You know that's that's and, and two fairies and two fairies, which is Faye, right? Right, Faye's a fairy. F A E O two. There are two fairies in that bottle. Well, that means it's magical. <laughs> yeah. So there's some of that little. Uh, wasn't the little fairy off of uh, Peter Pan? Yeah, that she Tinker had Bell. the Tinker Bell fairy. She had a little she, dust came off. Yeah, yeah. You fairy think there's dust. some of that in there? There might be a little fairy dust in it. Well, I'll tell you what, um, this, I think it's going to be magical. So, 10 French oak staves in the mm-hmm. barrel. FAEO2 stands for fatty acid esters. This one's kind of focused on the mouthfeel and uh, fatty acids. You know, they give it that body and that velvety mouthfeel, right? Yep. Now, this is uh, non-A stated, but we know it should be anywhere from about 8 to 12 years old. Um, these are some pretty special bottles, um, which pretty beautiful. So this is second in the FAE series. And the first bottle, FAE 01, was more of a fruit forward version. And this one's a little more focused on the mouthfeel. Mm-hmm. Well, let's quit talking about it. Let's check it out. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. So many floral notes in there. Like yeah. rich, deep roses. And uh, the alcohol is present, but it's not uh, overwhelming on the nose. It's still got the, it's still got a bit of fruity note to it, though, as well as the spice and a little bit of just a hint of chocolate. What now, are you getting? Oh, I do get that chocolate right there, like you said, cocoa cocoa crisp cereal. Now, that cereal doesn't have a very big chocolate note to it. But just the cereal and that chocolate together is what I'm getting. But I am getting, you know, I am getting the cereal part of it, too, a little bit. A little bit of orange zest in there. Yeah. No rye in this one. No, zero (laughs) zero rye for you, Jim. Zero at all. All right, well, let's taste it. Let's do it. Cheers. Okay. Very, very thick, heavy velvet, but there is some pop rocks on that. Yeah. I'm actually getting a little bit of that orange zest on the tongue too. Um, with that, you know, you said pop rocks. We always say that pop rocks that it's just kind of cracking a little bit. Sizzle as it goes back. Yeah. Yeah. But that, you know, if you ever got a little bit of orange zest on your tongue, you know, bit into an orange peel, you get that orange zest. That's what you're getting is that bite a little bit. You're right on the velvet. Mm. A little bit of chocolate on there still. Yeah, I would say that they definitely succeeded in their attempt to improve on the mouthfeel on this one. It's very present, very obvious that this is a uh, non-chill filtered, very heavy, very viscous liquid. Yeah, I, I quite love this. Now, this at the uh, retailer's price is fifty nine ninety nine for this bottle. Fair price. Super fair. You got to love Maker's Mark for that and stuff. They put plenty of them out there. Matter of fact, our good friend, moderator of the uh, Bourbon Roadies, 
he's the one that got this for me. Mm-hmm. Um, he had signed up for it. Um, he went over there, picked it up. Still fifty nine ninety nine, but he was able to get six of them. Oh um, wow! For cool. different people. Yeah. To walk around with this thing, this bottle, I I, I love it. Sure, it's really good. Yeah, I think it, it's got that long finish on this. You know, it's one of the things that Makers has done uh, is to, you know, explore, really explore the stave profiles, you know, the multiple stave profiles and what it does to whiskey and and to uh, and to do this kind of research and development on their whiskey. A lot of interesting things come out of that kind of work, you know. Yeah. And we get we get to enjoy the fruits of it. It's um, it's a little bit. It's got a little bit of a hug building over time. There's there's a there's a little power to this. What did you say the proof was? 109.1. I would have thought it'd been a little bit up there at yeah. 115. Still a lot of fruit notes on this. Some maybe some dark cherries in this right here. That orange zest is still there. That I would call it white chocolate on the on the taste of it. Yeah, but it's not uh it's not a super sweet chocolate though. It's sort of a, a little bit more of a baker's chocolate. Yeah, like a baker's chocolate. Yeah. Still, wow. Not a lot of nuttiness, more more floral. Uh, man, that sizzle. I like that sizzle, though. The oak is there, too. You know, when I took the first sip, I got that sizzle, and I hollered out Pop Rocks. But on the second and third sips, I've gotten the Pop Rocks as well. So it's not something that just happened on that first sip. It's something that's carried through to multiple sips. This is an exceptional whiskey. For fifty nine dollars, I would say um, a definite uh, addition to your bar. Yeah, it's like a smack in my face with that big bold aroma and flavor. Mm-hmm. Um, I would expect nothing else out of Maker's Mark, um, Demi Potter down there. Uh, so on this, that long finish, uh, great Kentucky hug on it that you would expect from Maker's Mark. A nice proof point. For me, it'd be a buy all day long. I'd say go out and buy it if you could find it. You see it on a shelf, pick it up. Now, it's available in stores. Yep. It's available at the gift shop. Yep. If you can find it. If you can find it. I would expect in a week or two from this release of this review to start seeing it in like Froger and other stores. Well, when the uh, the FAE 01 came out and when the RC6 came out and when some of the other special releases came out, they were a little rare right at first, but then you can start to see them showing up places. So Yeah, it's obviously good enough for me to take another pour of it. Yeah, you already finished. And that was a healthy pour the first time. <laughs> so you're on a second healthy pour. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's amazing what happens to a whiskey when you put two fairies in it. Well, it's magic in a bottle. <laughs> no, folks, there's really no fairies in this, but we're just making fun of the fact that it's F-A-E or Fay. I think it's how you spell Fay. Well, anyway. Works for me. Somebody will tell us. Yeah, yeah. So, Jim, where can you find us on social media? Well, we are on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. We're on all the social media. Well, not all of them, but all the ones that we got time to deal with. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we'd love to have you check it out and follow us on all those medium. On Facebook, we also have a private Facebook group called The Bourbon Roadies. 2,300 strong? Yeah. 2,300 good friends. Yeah, you'd be surprised what a roadie will do for you. You got to answer three questions to get in. Are you 21? Do you like bourbon? Well, yes, you love bourbon, or you wouldn't be listening to us. Um, And do you agree to play nice? Because we don't tolerate any rudeness. That means uh, don't tear someone down for what they're drinking. If they are drinking 10 high from the bottom of the shelf, or if they're drinking George T. Stag, if you can find it on the top shelf, we don't tear people down for that. Right. What we like to do, though, is see those open bottles, though. Yeah. Open your damn bottle, people. Open <laughs> OTDB. <laughs> OTD, hashtag OTDB. Open the damn bottle. Yeah. We like to see those open bottles. Uh, we don't tolerate any selling in there. Uh, what we want you to do is celebrate life in there. Uh, birthdays, retirements, promotions. Whatever you want to celebrate, we want to see you on vacation. We want to see you enjoying life. Uh, Please celebrate with us. Um, Share your pours with each other. That happens a lot. That's right. Like you say, you can't sell it, but you can give it away. Yeah. Um, Believe in our giveaways on there. Uh, Please believe in those giveaways. Our roadies uh, that are working with us to do those giveaways, 
They are real giveaways. They are the true stuff. So uh, somebody had asked me if we really give whiskey away, and I said, yes, we do. So are there people that have giveaways and don't give it away? I think there must be. Oh, that's not nice. Not nice at all, but I will guarantee you our giveaways are for real. They, it comes from me and Jim or another roadie. We've got plenty of whiskey that the distilleries help us out with. Sometimes we have extra bottles, and we like to uh, we like to share that whiskey. Yeah. All right. So we do two shows a week. Every week yeah. we do a short episode like today's where we focus on a single bottle, a single expression, normally a craft distillery. But there's some craft that went into this. Most certainly. Even though it's from a big distillery, there's a lot of craft that went into this. We like to shine the light once a week on somebody that is uh, stepping out of the box a little bit. And I think in the, this case, I think uh, the Samuels family stepped out of the box just a little bit. This is pretty good stuff. Uh, but we also do a longer episode every week, more closer to an hour, 30 minutes in the first half, 30 minutes in the second half. Get to work and get you home. And uh, that's a little bit more of a deep dive. We'll have a distillery on a guest. We'll go to this bourbon festival and interview people. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, we'll drink through a number of expressions. Sometimes it's just Mike and I, but uh, you'll get a longer show once a week, too. So twice a week. How do they not miss an episode? Well, you want to go on up at the top of your app that you're using to listen to us on. You want to hear that subscribe button, apply it plus sign or a check sign, whatever you got to do, subscribe. That'll make sure that your app tells you, hey, these guys have recorded again. They've got an episode they've released. Uh, then you want to scroll on down, hit that five-star review. You know we love that, Jim. And we're getting a few. We are getting a few of them. Just a few. Just a few. But we want you to hit that five-star. You know what happens if you don't hit that five-star review? The big bad booty daddy of bourbon will come hunt you down. We'll bring some of this uh, two fairies in a bottle right here with us. We're going to drink it. By the end of the night, those fairies will fly out of the bottle <laughs> magically, <laughs> and uh, we'll get that five-star review out of you. <laughs> All right. Well, we do have a website called thebourbonroad.com. And on that website, you'll find our articles. You'll find our swag. If you buy our swag, we certainly appreciate it. It helps us get on down that road, doesn't it, Mike? Yes, it does. And uh, it's real easy. Get on there. You can look through our catalog, find a, a glass or a shirt or a hat or a mug or a decanter. We got all kinds of cool stuff in there. Hip flask now, too. Hip flask. That's right. So, Come and check it out. Uh, you can also reach out to us on there on the Contact Us page. Be sure when you fill that out, it'll come to Mike and I, and we'll respond to you. Uh, you can always reach us on email. I'm Jim at thebourbonroad.com. He's Mike at thebourbonroad.com. Probably the best way is to hit us up on Instagram. I'm Jay Shannon 63 I'm One Big Chief. And we'll see you down the Bourbon Road. Mm -hmm.